friends. Um, I'm going to work on a painting today. I have this painting I kind of was using as an example, doing a bunch of stuff for a, uh, a class. And I just wanted to show how you can just kind of do different things with the brushes, whatever. And now I want to use this canvas again. Um, sorry, I'm just after adding water here to my... Um, water. Anyway, so I wanted to use this canvas again because this is not what I wanted. I just was using it for different techniques um, behind this bird here. I have different techniques and different things that um, the girls were supposed to follow with. And I was just kind of throwing whatever on. So now I'm just going to go in and throw some more layers on here. Shake it up. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Shake it up and see if I can salvage some of that there. I just kind of threw some. So I'm just going to throw on some orange and it's crazy right? I have um, some acrylic just different acrylics in the background as well. Now I thought I should shake it. Did I learn from the last experience? No. So I'm just going to throw on some, spread some of my orange. And some of my teal here. And I want to do a painting over top of this mess. And we'll see what happens here with this. Guys, I've really had some unique plans to do. And I don't want it to be too muddy. I know I'm mixing my colors like a lot here right now. But I'm going to throw that in there. I'm going to dry this off a bit and then I'm going to add some red. I'm just doing some scraping here. I'm drying it, scraping it a little bit here. Get some of that color through. I just wanted to let you guys know that's what I was doing. I got some texture back here from the old paint, which is really nice. I think I'm going to also throw some texture before I finish drying it. I'm going to tr throw some modeling pice, I think. Down. And actually, I'm going to throw gesso because if I recall right, what I want to use this for, modeling paste was not my favorite friend in this particular way. I'm just going to use gesso. I don't care if color comes on it. I just want some texture. And I'm going to now grab some gesso. Uh, I'm being a little crazy, so I'm just going to grab um, like this. But I want to grab just so I don't want to taint what's, what's there. So, because I'm scraping it, I'm going to have to clean it off um, before I put it back in my gesso jar, just because that's the way I'm kind of doing it. Now that I have some of the stuff like this, I'm going to grab a stencil and do something crazy on the side. Just for more texture, I'm just grabbing a stencil and putting a couple of spots of texture. And then I'm going to do the same with, uh, try not to get, with the circles. I love circles, so sorry about that. I kind of had a lot of gesso here and I just squished it on top, so we'll see. It'll come up with nice texture anyway, so. There we go. It's coming out really nice. I got a lot of gesso on the back, so it's just like making print. It's making a really nice texture anyway, so I like that. I don't mind. There we go. Just like that. So now it's really crazy, guys. And now I'm going to dry that off. 
And then I'm going to add a little bit more color um, on top of this. Okay, so I got my background pretty much done. And I have been watching this movie. Um, it's called Marco Polo, and it's about, um, so far I'm up to, like, oh, he's, like, all these Mongolians, and he's, you know, in their culture and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, you got to watch the, the show, this TV show. And I've really been into it, and I've been wanting to draw a Mongolian face. So just to let you know, it's kind of where I'm going with this. Um, yeah. So anyway... Just to let you know, that's where I'm going with it. It might look um, like a Buddha-ish, but I'm not trying to go for that. I'm trying to go for a Mongolian. So I'm going to go draw oh, over yes. charcoal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with, see if my pastel chalk will work here. And I'm just going to try not, like I'm going to have to try to get most of it off. Um, but... I don't know what I'm going to do because, um, um, it's going to get wet, wet and then it's going to be like, yeah, smear and then kind of change the color of my paint. So I'm going to have to try to rub it off or something. I don't know. Um, So I'm going to try to get like a face going on here and an eyebrow. And because it's Asian, I know you guys would like a lot of people would assume that it's like a Buddha face, but it's not. It's um, I really want to go for the Mongolian feel. Um, we'll see if I can make it. I really that's one of the things besides. OK, I have Vikings. I really love Vikings. And, um, yeah, Mongolian people, I really admire them, too. Just their history. Um, Chinese, Japanese um, peoples as well. Just so much to learn about different people. It's cultures that I'm not sure <laughs> how this is coming across here. Let's see. And I wanted to do a bit of a goatee here because the character I had had a goatee, but it's right at the bottom, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. So I think I'll just leave that. Um, go with that. So we'll see what we can do with that. Okay. Add some more to my brush. I'm going to go in here with a very light... I'm almost need white. I'm gonna go in with the white. Do I have white here? Cotton ball it might not be the right one. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of white. I might go layers of a skin flesh tone and a little bit of white. I don't want to cover all of the what I have in here, but at the same time, I um. I want to get him looking really great. So this Marco Polo show has been really interesting. So I've been really enjoying it. So I was like, I want to paint an Asian style face. Well, particularly I was enjoying the Mongolian um, show. But I was like, I'm inspired. I'm inspired. So, yeah. So I'm going to do lots of yellow tones, white tones, and um, browns, a bit of browns, and try to get a face going in here. Don't know. We'll see how it goes, right, guys? I could always go white over more, so I'm just kind of just going over, I think. And I'm not really letting anything dry, I'm just kind of playing with it right here. Blending it. The white is really just supposed to be like the top, top layer on this part, like the... I have lots of white in there. I don't want it to come through after, like, 
I don't want to explain it. Just don't want to, don't want any of it to come through. I should have turned the canvas around, mm, but we'll see, we'll play with it. Sometimes I'm like thinking, oh, I'm going to fit this canvas on here, but then I'm like, I don't know. I did it again, you know, too, um, too light or too short. I got too many things going on in my head. <laughs> too light. Yeah, I need more black. Okay, I have to admit, this is not looking too Mongolian, but it is a great face. Fun. It's been fun. Um, to try, But it's not quite the way. You know, we've got to play with it and t t tweak our, our, our um, practices, I guess. But <laughs> so far, it's not quite looking the way I planned them. But I still really enjoy the face. So I'm just going to keep going with it. I don't like to quit on something. I like to keep going with it. I never like to just, that's it, done. You know, so... It doesn't look like what exactly the, the type I wanted, but hey, that's okay. So I'm just going to throw in some more color. I'm not really sure why, because I'm kind of <sighs> trying to figure out what I want to stick. I'm going to make some brown and reds here. What I want to uh, add. Do I want to add any more color? Um, I'm going to add some red down here and here. See how that looks. I don't know. It's kind of hard to make a decision, especially when you've got just so much going on. Anyways, do I want to add more, more color? Um, I don't know. That's the kind of thing I'm working with right now, trying to figure out what I want to do. So, I usually use a lot of different colors and faces. I'm trying to not use too many right now because I've got so much in the background that I want to work on and pull up. So, I'm just trying to get some pop on the outside colors here right now. And I'll have to work on my faces. I'll just have to work on my types of faces. And that's a good thing. It's not, I'm not giving up. I really just have to work on it. And, uh, yeah, make them more look like the people I want them to look like. And that kind of thing. So, yeah. So it's a work in progress. That's a work in progress, getting him or the character to look like what I want to look like. So, to be like an um, abstract type of painting, yet, you know, looking like what I want to look like. It's, it's difficult, but I'm, I'm working it. So, well, I'm not going to give up. I'll keep trying to get my faces to the people and regions that I want to portray. And um, yeah, it's a good thing to practice. <laughs> As I'm getting, I'm still working on it, but hey, like I said, it's a good thing to practice. So there's no mistakes. Everyone is different. Everyone looks different. So I'm not quite the face I wanted, like I said, but I really am happy with the, the fun. It's been fun. So, still using a lot of color, so. 
and that's what I love just playing with it and using a lot of color so I'm not really I'm just wiping my brush here and there um, I want a lot of color to pop through and dipping it in my palette here and these are the colors I'm working with right now so I'm just trying to pop color in here because I want to actually go over and sandpaper over and pull out a bunch of color so if you guys haven't guessed that already um, I've been doing that a lot lately and now I'm going to do something larger and we go larger with it and just try more things I think I'm going to have to dry this layer now because I'm pretty much smearing up other colors um, and I'm really happy with how it's coming along even though it's not looking as Mongolian as I want still I'm still happy with it and I'm going to make um, the eyes really dark so um, see how that all turns out I've got so much layers and it's going to be fun to pull some off and it's always fun to play with them and experiment so learning is always always a learning curve and I'm going to add more white I think to his eyes I think or I'm going to make his eyelids thicker it's just kind of going with it at the moment
food coloring spray and I'm probably misplaced it here and I don't know where I put it. I was liking that. Oh, here it is. I was liking that look, so I'm going to add more of that. You guys are not going to see much because I'm, ugh, I can't move the, I could move the camera up, but then I'm going to have it down, up, down. Grab a card here. I'm just going to grab a card and I'm going to spray it on the card and then it's going to run down the painting. I'm not spraying directly on the painting. So I'm just spraying it on the card and it's running down. That way, I have it. Just over. I ran out of brown. Let's see what we're going to go with. I'm going to go with a shimmery red orange. Do something funky over here. It's looking pretty cool. So I have to fill these up again. What did I do? Did I do my... I really do have to work on these. Been using them up. It's just food coloring and water, and like I said, just adds a really nice look, I think. And I don't do it to all my paintings, but I'm liking it on this guy. And like I said, I really wish I could get the, um, figure out what I'm doing wrong here. Oh, there, I got it. There's a little switch on the side. Okay. So I can move that a little bit better now. So I gotta get all my other colors going um, filled. So I think this is enough um, drippage. I could, yeah, I think that's enough drippage. And I'm gonna dry it up. I like it. This is how my guy's looking. I added some green or blue and it went green and dark and I like that. I'm going to add a little bit of gold on the stick, and it is play color, gold, metallic, and you can use any kind of gold. I just happen to have this one out, and I'm going to use it because I do have it out. And I'm just going to add it everywhere and have some of that metallic kind of coming out of some of the places here. Wherever it wants to pop out. So I'm just going to throw it on, see what happens. Instead of throwing it on later, which I probably normally would do, I'm just going to throw it on a little bit here now and see what happens. And Because it's all going to kind of come get sandpapered anyways. So I'm, you guys are knowing where I'm going with this. And I want to sandpaper and get some layers happening in here. So that's where I'm going with it. I'm just kind of going over a little bit of where I was drawing them. And there we go. The gold kind of everywhere. Again, move my stuff out of the way and give it a good heat dry. Can you see all the gold in him on it? So it's just like everywhere and it's great. So I'm going to heat that to dry it all up. All right, so this is how it is. And like I said before, can you see that gold? It looks really cool. This guy is, ooh, got some paint down here. It's supposed to be a um, Mongolian character. He's, I don't know if he looks Mongolian. I, if I had actually 
turn the canvas the proper way, I would have done it the other way, and I would have had the goatee and maybe. But I don't want to make a goatee and that right when it's so short. So I'm not going to do that. But now, anyway, I got it layers and layers and layers. Um, It's looking really good. I got my sandpaper. And you guys, we've been doing, P, this is P600. I'll flip it over here and show you what it looks like in the back. We've been doing a lot of projects, like the hearts, kind of going through the layers, showing you guys what I was doing with it, and um, kind of leading you guys up to doing something bigger. So this is where we're going with it. Had an old painting in the bottom that I did. Um, it was just, you know, uh, example painting for techniques, and I don't need to keep it. I didn't want to keep it, but now I have that painting underneath. All the stuff that you guys have seen, and that painting underneath had many layers as well. So now we're just going to go carefully and sandpaper over and see what we can get off. And if I do need to add um, more gold, because the gold kind of went on some of the lifted areas, that's fine. I can do that. Just try to be careful. And, uh, yeah, work at it. Just work at it. So now I'm just going over it. You could put something behind it so it doesn't stretch or bounce the canvas too much. Whatever you guys desire to do to make it easier. And I'm just going to try and see if I can get some layers off and make it look a little worn. Get the direction to not in the same direction all the time. You can put a little bit of foam in the back. You can put your hands in the back, help it along. Look at that, it's coming along really nice. And it's just a little bit of work going over it here and there. Normally I do have a piece of foam that I put back here, but I don't know why I don't stop the video and grab it. Here's a paint splatter or something I did right across there, or a scratch, or some kind of technique I did to show the girls. Now I'm going to put my hand back here so I don't get, I got a little piece of the wood there, um, edge, but I don't want to do it right all the way down and show that there's a, that back there. So put my thumb back there, so I'm holding on, oh, you guys can't see, I'm holding on right here, but I got my thumb back here, holding that. Pulling some of that through. And that's why I use the gesso on here instead of modeling paste. I didn't want, you know how my modeling paste peels? Didn't want that peeling sensation happening there. I'll put my hand underneath this section down here. Geez, I'm having trouble videoing this right here. I did sign my name already in the corner here, so then it will be worn just like the rest of it, which I want to do. And just keep going with it. Okay, so I sanded quite a bit down. I don't know how much more I want to be moving it up. 
how much more I want to sand. It's not quite, um, this is my attempt at a Mongolian face. It's Asian, Eastern, but I will practice and get it. Anyway, so I damped a cloth down to get some of the dust off. I don't want to rub too much because I don't want to get the nice paint strips off um, that I have coming down. But this is it so far. And you can see where the sandpaper really picked up in some places. Um, even down here, you can see it is down different colors. So the white even came like off. And so it looks pretty good. There's his mouth. Just trying to get it around my cords kind of right there. So I'm trying not to catch it. So I, but that is how it's looking. And I'm liking it. So this is my project. I hope you guys enjoyed this face. Um, I'm going to do different ones. And um, I'm enjoying it. Like I said, I wanted to get more of a... Mongolian face, but I don't think I achieved that. But I enjoyed it anyway. This was just for fun, no reason. I just felt that I was like, oh, I want to do this face. like it don't forget to craft like a duck and i'll talk to you guys later bye bye, bye, -bye.